Just give me a second while I find the page. This video is only going to contain a walkthrough of how to uh, disassemble or uh, remove the dash on a 1982 Lincoln Town Car. Highly suggested move right here. Uh, what you want to do is uh, get like a little piece of cardboard box or something like that, and then uh, just just, <coughs> just go ahead and uh, punch the bolt right through there. Uh, label them, of course, and keep them organized. Can you dig it? Uh, first bottle I'm taking out is uh, one right here, like right in the cut. Uh, it's like right here. Yeah, you can see that right here. That school location is like pretty much the same as the driver's side. Same place, just driver's side. I mean, same place on it as this driver's side, just on the passenger side this time around. And, uh, thing up is these uh, these bolts right here in the uh, vent uh, passageway to, for the air to travel through. Uh, I'm missing one uh, right there. I don't know if you can see that right here. I'm missing one. Not even joking. Uh, and then the other ones right here. Here. Uh, same same procedure as the other side. Yeah. Here we go. Scales. This is the bolt right on top of the speedometer. Uh, I had to switch up my uh, my tool a little bit. No, the rest of them have been like uh, what you call that? Like uh, well, in, uh, ah, so the rest, the all of them have so far have been Phillips heads. Uh, this one, on the other hand, I had to switch up my tool. Go to a flathead. So this is different. This one's a little different. Uh, let me know if uh, if my, my just, mine is a little different than yours or something like that. But this one came with a flathead type of bolt. And if you follow those steps correctly, you should be getting this type of motion right here. I just, I just like to like wiggle it, see if there's any bolts I'm missing before I go and tug it out and yank it out. This car is a uh, very special, you know. <clears throat> Was the uh, part number for you guys? Uh, I don't know. It's crazy. So crazy about this thing is uh, <laughs> yeah, this thing is uh, it's probably like light pressure and it's yeah, that's gone. That's right. This is a light pressure right here. The rest of the bolts are uh, like along right here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, right here. All. Uh, this piece right here. Right below the uh, warning lights, this piece will just like uh, pop right off. Also, this piece above the radio, uh, right below the instrument panel, right here. This piece right here. I just uh, applied some pressure to one side a little bit, moved to the other side, applied some pressure, and it just pops right out. When you've done that, there's another part number for you guys if you want it. I don't know what the other one is, but look. What I'm trying to say is, uh, after you've removed that clip, there'll be a couple of screws there revealed. Right here, right here. Two on the other side. For the radio side, above the right side of the driver's side. 
right? Uh, yeah, move forward those bolts. Uh, you should be able to kind of wiggle it a little bit. Now, behind this, uh, like, she hold uh, Behind uh, this seam right here, what I'm talking about, this seam right here, there's a clip. So you have to kind of maneuver it and kind of pop the clip out. And you should be able to move this piece with the light switch. Be careful with this piece right here. It'll just fall out. Uh, it's the uh, clip for the uh, for the uh, for the uh, the panel for the instrument cluster. The uh, the wood grain. Uh, you should be careful with that. Uh, you should remove this uh, antenna. Uh, uh, antenna. Uh, antenna. Ant holy shit! Antenna button. That's what I'm saying. This antenna button right here. Nice and smooth. Let me just. The antenna uh, has a. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, nope, nope. So the antenna has a, a clip on it. I just used like a flathead, got behind it, and uh, kind of just wiggled it out a little bit. There goes the gauge cluster.